Hey out there survivors and welcome back to uh, part 3 of our Let's Survive Stray. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If this is your first time here, please check out the uh, card here, which will take you to the first episode and in the playlist, and you can watch them in order. Been really uh, hyped for this game for the guts of two years, and uh, yeah, been enjoying my time with it. So we're about an, we're roughly about an hour into the game, and uh, we're going to continue exploring the dead town as the awesome little kitty cat that I've nicknamed Fletcher after my amazing friend CB item boxes kitty. Let's go. Oh, I love that purring. All right, so we were looking, if I remember correctly. God, the traversal is so good. Um, yeah, what we were looking for, from what I remember, God, if I can just aim it right. Um, oh wait, can we not go this way? Oh, we can. Shut up, Petty. Um, more buildings that look like they have the symbol. Oh, we can go up there. Perfect. What was that meeping sound? Meep, meep. I think we found Roadrunner. Um, we're looking for more buildings that have this symbol. So, like that building over there. I think this building has it as well, right? Is that the symbol? I thought it was. I could be totally wrong. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, but at the same time, it's worth an investigation, am I right? Oh, what's this say? Ventilation power supply. All right. So I'm going to presume we need to pull that out. To knock off the fans. Now, how does that get us in there, though? Oh, oh. Ah, clever cat. Oh, the music. Delicious. Oh. Why is that giving me Harry Potter vibes in a weird way? Oh, drink up, Fletch. Need your energy, buddy. All right, let's go. Oh, can we knock all of these? Because as a cat, it is our job to knock everything we see that we can knock. You know? Oh, that was beautiful. See that shit? We found another notebook! Nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zbaltazar. All traces of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. We've got one more notebook to find, right? I think there's only four outsiders. I could be wrong, though. But I thought there was only the four outsiders. Uh, okay, up there. Yeah, knock it. Knock them! Hell yeah. Knock this shit off, too. Literally, this game is cat lateral damage story mode. And I love it. Oh! Fuck that blind up. You mean fucking the blind up was actually a productive thing? That's cool. I'm happy now. So, there are the two lads throwing the boxes to each other. Us. So, we got one from over there. We got that one. And then we got the big. Oh, I see the. I think I know where the other one is. I think we got this. Up and over. Yo, what's up? Oh wait, can I throw him off by doing this? I wonder what the point of that is. Is it to get into that building? Let's hop down to ground level and see. Oh yeah, he's outside now cleaning it up. Good stuff, lads. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. 
Very plasma. This is, yeah, good stuff, lads. What's this say? Take super spirit detergent? Okay. Would you guys find it really weird if I said that this reminded me of the Beavis and Butthead game on the Sega Mega Drive? Or Genesis if you live in the US. I think the only reason it does, is, and this one specific part, is because uh, the Beavis and Butthead game on the Sega Mega Drive, if I'm remembering correctly, literally started in a, laun a, la a laundry place, a laundrette. And so I think that's literally what I'm basing my entire thing off of. This reminds me of this because they both have laundrettes in them. Imagine that with movies. Well, this movie has a laundrette in it. Yeah, so does a lot of friggin' movies, Murphy. Up we go. Oh, hey. There's Sleepy Boy. How am I not impressing you? Be impressed by my sounds, you son of a bitch. Alright, uh, there is another one of them fiestas over here. Ooh, catapult! <gasps> we gotta watch TV. It's just... It's it's mandatory, right? What's it showing? Oh, we can't understand that news. Oh, well. Next channel. Give me some cartoons, please. Is that the weather forecast? Okay, that's... Pretty magical. <laughs> a game show? Is this like the futuristic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire or The Chase or something? What the hell? That's like QVC Shopping Network. JVC Shopping Network, sorry. This is clearly some kind of fucked up music video, so that's Kerrang. Perfect. Propaganda, for sure. Jar George Orwell's 1498. Ooh, telia chat. We got a trophy. What the hex? One sec. What is that? Is that not more propaganda? I think it's Cat Anonymous. Oh, and that's it. Okay. We surfed all the channels, folks. We can go in here. Oh, loads of books to mess up. This is Cat Heaven. Eep. Oh, baby. This guy's. Oh, this is the nerd, right? This has got to be the nerd. Remember they were like, oh, you'd need a real nerd to be able to translate that. This has got to be the nerd. Look at this. Oh, it's heaven. Yo. Oh, come on. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Ah. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess the Librarian. Aha, Jess did not take, or well, the doc did not take your advice, considering he's still, uh... Wait, can we fuck up the couch? Scratch that shiz. Mmm, feels good, bro. Oh, I love the way you can see uh, B12 inside in the back. That's so cute. Can we watch TV here? Wait, it's just the outside. Okay, well, that's a good thing, right? That means this presumably is one of the outsiders. One sec. There's too many books here to, to destroy. Oh, oh, yo, 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 what the heck? Safe key. Oh, yeah. What was that? The last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined the spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to warding off the Zergs on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. There's also a note in this book. 
I found the design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. So we're going back to Momo now. But I want the little cat toy. I actually basically have, I have a ver- I know lots of people do, but I have a version of that cat thing. Is it a luck cat? A fortune cat? See? Let's put him back here. He can wish us well. He can wish us good fortune in our uh, in our journeys. <sighs> All right. We have trashed the books, and it brings me so much joy. But I need to make sure that there's no books left untrashed. See these ones that are in the corners of like alcoves. You can't get to them, unfortunately. You can't wreck those books, and it, it kind of breaks my heart. Not gonna lie. Wait, wait, wait. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Four to two. Oh, interesting. So... They updated their programming to themselves to be more human? Is that what I'm getting from this? This is what cats do, bro. <gasps> Have a little rest for yourself there, Fletch. You, you've earned it, buddy. You've earned it, my sweet, sweet friend. Right, Fletch, let's go. Onwards, August, upwards. So, this guy is dead, right? Oh, that is the same book. So, this is not the nerd who's gonna help us. God damn! I thought it was. I got so excited momentarily. Bracket. Uh, let me just double check one last time that there isn't any more books to manglify. Nope. I'm basically just keeping my eyes peeled for the X thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, knock them books. Knock them all. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Why don't you run, kitty cat? Run, run, run. Alright. So now we're going back to Momo, correct? There's probably a lot more stuff, like, that you can do if you, like, adventure. But I think for now we'll head back to Momo and figure out what we're doing, because... I, I, as I say, I see so I see follow on playthroughs of this big time in my future. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, we've talked to Hector before. He's he's good peoples. You want to pet me because I'm cute. You just don't understand what cute is. It's not your fault. So Momo was in the big orange building, correct? Which is that one, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot. No, kitty cat. Fletch. Fletcher, get up. Good man. <gasps> All right, Momo. We found all the notebooks. Good. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Oh, whoops, wrong. Wait. Well, then where the... F where the F is the fourth notebook? It said we found all four notebooks. Ah, uh, yo. Momo's notebook. Zaltabar's notebook. Is there a way? Do I... I'm so confused. 
It literally said, right? We found all four notebooks. Let's go back to Momo. So I'm not gone completely insane then. It does say that. Is there? No, it's not letting me. Uh... This is so odd. I'm freaking out. Chat, what is going on? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm such a donkey. Here, one sec. That's Zaldabar's notebook, right? I never quite understand what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine, Spalt... Spaltaba... Spalt Bazaar... Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you. I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Hells yeah. Let's do it, Momo. Et voila. It works. Come with me. I wish I'd given him the voice of Frenchie from the boys. Yo, what's up? Howdy. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. All right. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. This is so cool. I love this. That massive building over there? Is that what he's talking about, I'm presuming? Oh, dang, did he close the... Can I go back in, or is that... Oh, you're, like, soft-locked out of it. God dang it. I don't... I don't want no Zerks. Zerk is a guy that can't get no love from me. One sec, one sec. Oh, serious scratching action! Ugh. I love that this is not only a good game, but also just a great cat simulator. It's both. Yo. Oh, as long as this doesn't get too stealthy, because I am not good at stealth, bro. For a guy who grew up playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid, it's quite ironic that I'm uh, so rubbish at stealth games. Or anything that has stealth-based action. And I love Dishonored, right? Now I know you can play Dishonored as non-stealthy, so that's maybe not the best example. Alright, well... Oh, shoot, there's a lot of Zerks down there. Oh, shoot, run, little kitty cat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What would be amazing in this game is if you literally had nine... Like, if, if, after, if you died nine times, that was it. The whole game ended. It was permadeath. That would be hilarious. Well, not really, because the idea of Fletcher dying makes me sad regardless. Yo, 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 what's this? Oh, it's another memory. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was take a, uh, taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their home. 
There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colours again like on the outside. I think it helped. B12 is a friend to all cats. Wait. Is there a... I don't see a route up here. Wait, maybe... Oh! A. Interesting. See, I don't want to go that way. I want to go up. How do I go up, bro? Wait, maybe. <gasps> That's clever. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. Things are starting to get pretty, uh, pretty platformy puzzly now. Roll this shiz out. Bang! Now let's get up on top of it and up onto this. Oh, oh, oh this is so nice. Lads, this game is smooth. It's smooth as butter, like. Yowza. What the hell is this gunk? That's fucking gross. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like... This is going to, like, body horror territory. Like, you. Says the guy who wants to make, like, nothing but body horror movies. I was just waiting for a load of Zerk step here, there. Oh, crap. If we hack that door, they're gonna come barging through, though. Wait a gosh damn minute. Oh my god, that was risky! Why did we do that when it was so risky? Cause we're cats and cats love chaos! Jink, that's what happens at the end of Stranger Paradise. Jack Garland just finds a cat. Cause he sets out to destroy chaos and, you know... I can't think of anything more chaos-like than a kitty cat. Which is why I loved him so much! Let's go, let's go across this. Perfect. Uh, please say there's no Zerks here. Thanks. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, go up on the thing. Up on the platform, kitty! Just a bit, Jay. For fuck's sake. There we go. Now push that down. Spot on. Lads, we are so friggin' cool. Oh, I don't like the sounds of this. Sound is getting dangerous. That synth sounds, uh, foreboding. And I'm not much li liking the fucking, the disgusting skin growing out of the walls either. Usually that's a bad sign, right? So what's the plan here? Lure them? Lure them which way though? Ooh, no! Bro! Bro! Get off me! No, Fletcher! Oh my god. It happened. The moment I've been dreading since I started playing this game. Oh. I panicked and I was pressing the wrong button to shake them off me. Because I panicked. We could just pretend that never happened though. Like, why aren't they coming when I call them, bro? Is there anything else I can do here? Unless I... Okay, maybe if I...
Oh shit, bro. Run! Run! Oh my god. That was terrifying. Uh, don't like that. I don't like these freaking head crabs. They can F right off. Oh, they are going in for me. Oh! No, 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 no! Get off! Oh, Fletch, get out there. Up you go. <sighs> Jesus, lads. I'm I am actually shitting it now. This is worse. This is more stressful than any horror game. Friggin' hell. Ooh. Cuz we don't want Kitty to die. I also cannot say Zerk without thinking of Emperor Zerg from uh, Toy Story. Yo, say what? Okay, we can go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Check, check, wah. Check, 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 wah. Guess who's back? Jump on this. Ooh. Neko carp. So Neko in Japanese is cat, like in Nico. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to dis develop a bacteria to dissolve it all, so they created the Zerks. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Thank you for the info. So basically, humans created these friggin' monstrosities. Why am I not surprised? What's the betting that if the, hum if the robots have been left to their own devices, no bad crap like this would have happened? Good man! That's what I'm talking about. Can the cat climb up the rope? Jesus. That sound freaked the crap out of me, bro. Told you, this is a horror game, lads. And we, cl we can't climb. Dang it. Thought we could climb the chain, but apparently not. So does that mean we gotta go back over that way with us? Wait a gosh dang minute. No, we can't go into this barrel, so it's this barrel is the way forward. Let's go this way with it. Although I don't see what this is going to do. You know? Yeah, I'm not... Nice. I'm not seeing the... I'm not see Oh, we gotta bring it out, don't we? Yeah, we absolutely do. That's cool. That's great. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Scared the friggin' crap out of me. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Oh my god, the level design. The level design is also so incredibly good. Ah, freak you, Zerks. Stupid Zerks. The other thing that saying Zerks reminds me of is Xerxes from uh, 300. A little from column A, a little from column B, am I right? Am I right, folks? Uh, yeah, get that. Get the switch. Oh shoot. Oh no 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 Ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba. Oh my God! Just run away. 
I'm actually gonna vomit. That's right. I will vomit on you. Ugh. Lads, I'm telling you the stress. As I say, in most horror games, I'm not this stressed because I usually don't care about the protagonist as much. I mean, think about my, think about me what you will. I care about Kitty Cat. Oh, the door's opened, but... Oh, no, wait, they didn't. They got stuck. Haha, -ha, see? Here it is. Put the transceiver on this ant antenna. Yes, sirree, Bob. That's what I'm going to try and do. What's the best way of doing this, though? Oh, is it just this thing down here? Oh, apparently so. First things first, though. First things first, I'm the realist. Uh, apparently we can't. I wanted to try and climb to the top of that actual tower. Because that would have been sick. Transceiver. We did it! That's so cool. We brought life back to the city, folks. What one little stray kitty cat can do can change the world. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the her hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Oh, this is such a cool. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now that this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Like the city can't hold us. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Alright, as I say, I kind of wish I could climb to the top of this. The inner cat inside me is just like, let me do it. And that's why I thought this was here. I thought it was going to let me, like... But I don't seem to be able to scale this part. So, don't think that's happening. Wait, 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 maybe. Maybe. No. Of course not. God damn. I swear, you just look at me. I'm just desperate. All right, so... With that being done, that's going to finish up episode three, or part three... Of our stray playthrough. Uh, again. What can I say? The platforming got even better. In this. Uh, the puzzles got better as well. And then we got our first kind of real like stealth chase mechanics. Other than the ones that introduced it at the very start of the game. We had our first death. Which I was not happy about. Um, as I say in most horror games. I don't really, Or most games. I don't really care about the protagonist dying really. But in this I want to protect Kitty. Because he's so freaking cute. Or she. I don't know. Gender neutral cat is amazing. Uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for checking out this part 3. Um, if it's your first time here. I would implore you to please click the subscribe button. To stick around for future uh, Let's Plays, streams, interviews, etc. Uh, we stream every Wednesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. And it's kind of a mixture of stuff like Red Dead Redemption... Um, we'll eventually be doing some GTAs and the like. Um, and then horror games and God of War. So yeah. Uh, 
I'm going to finish up the stream there. Or the stream. I'm so used to saying that now. Uh, I'm going to finish up this video there. And I'll finish by saying what I always say. Well, and that is... Uh, you are beautifully broken and perfectly imperfect. Let's survive together and peace out. Thank you all so much. See you in the next one.